I don't think I have many days where I don't look at this shop and think how lucky I am to have it. The first thing that uh, gives me um, a love of what I do is where I work and who I work with. Um, so that's the fundamentals of, of my day, which is what makes it enjoyable. When I hear somebody who can play a cello beautifully, um, there's not many instruments that can bring out an emotion in you, really such as a cello. I couldn't actually think of a better violin shop <laughs> to, um, or a better shop that could be a violin shop. Um, it's got the age, it's got the right feel. I think with the unusual product that I sell and the very beautiful building I'm in, people stop and look when they walk by the window and, and look inside and want to come in and I think if it wasn't for the building, I, I think I'd be a lot less than what I am now. I really do. Most of the tools that we use to restore instruments are basic tools, chisels, saws, gouges, thumb planes, scrapers, etc. Um, yeah, a good bandsaw is useful. Um, but apart from that, not a lot really. And in fact, when you're restoring a very old instrument, um, the less from this world we, br we bring into the restoration process, the better. Um, you know, you've got to try and recreate age to whatever you do. So whether it's new wood you're putting into this old instrument because something's broken off, that wood has got to be aged so that it fits in with what you're restoring. I chose Woodbridge because I knew it. I used to come down here on holiday when I was a nipper, um, caravanning with my family. And um, Woodbridge was just a, a beautiful place. And I thought, well, whatever happens with the business, it's a place I'd like to live. So I came down here on my own, found a shop next door to where I am now, literally rented it and put 15 violins in there with a workbench and opened the door. For me, the most satisfying part of the job is when the customer comes to pick up their restored instrument. Um, and don't forget, some of them are brought to us in a, in a pretty bad state. So when you've cleaned it all, f f before you've even started with the restoration work, you know, it looks like a different, different instrument.